Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, good morning. So I want to come on here and spill some teen mom tea, okay? And this is teen mom 2T, not teen mom OGT, in case you care to know the difference. Anyways, as many of you guys know, I've been watching teen mom since it first debuted all those many years ago. These kids are now like between the ages of, I want to say, 7 and damn near 10 years old, okay? So I want to talk about the whole Janelle and David Eason situation because a lot of you guys have been tagging me in this story, sending it to me. And most of you all know how I feel about Janelle, okay? Janelle is not my favorite teen mom because of the way she talks to her mother, treats her mother, the fact she didn't have custody of Jace but wants to dictate, you know, how Jace should be raised. You know, she's done a lot of just ratchet stuff over the years. This is the same girl who got pregnant by one guy, had an abortion, only to get pregnant by another guy less than six months later. With that being said, Janelle has seemed to somewhat mature a little bit. She seemed like she was settling down. She got married to David Eason. She had her third child, which was a little girl named Ensley. And, you know, I watch this show. I keep up with it. Don't miss the episode. I DVR it so I know everything that's been going on from start to finish. Well, the other day, David Eason, who was recently banned from MTV last year because he went on this whole homophobic tirade. So MTV said he cannot be filmed on the show. So because he can't be filmed, it's forced Janelle to be closer with her mother. So anyhow... He's made filming this season just a living hell. When her and her mother go to film or take the kids somewhere, he pops up. He's threatening the staff. You know, he's going off. And Janelle is seeing this is all fun and games. Check this clip out. Her pants right now. He was trying to with you because he was pissed off. All right, you just saw that clip of MTV producers looking like she was scared shitless. <laughs> because once again, David Easton threatened the film crew, Okay. You know, David has done just a lot of just really weird shit, but this is the worst. So what happened is that yesterday, David basically goes onto Instagram and basically admits to killing the family dog. So, of course, people were up in arms. They're like, you know, what happened? He's saying that, you know, yeah, his family comes first and no person, man, woman, dog, will put his family's life in danger. So then when word got back when this went viral and the police called their home, he lied and said it was a joke and that the dog was still alive. But then what ended up happening is that Janelle took to social media. So Janelle says that he took the dog, that's what she tells U.S. Weekly, that David took the dog two acres away and basically shot the dog. Then Janelle takes to her um, Instagram and she says this, Nugget, I'm crying every day. I love you so much. I'm so sorry. I'm speechless. You were my sidekick and knew the moment I felt bad and would cuddle with me. You still had a lot to learn and a lot to grow from your lessons. Every day I wake up, you're not here. When I come home, you're not here. When I go to bed, you're not here. You're gone forever. There's no coming back. Hashtag heartbroken, hashtag distraught. So that is the little doggy nugget that David took out back and, you know, just just shot him. Shot him in the head, killed him, okay? So then people start going off and David decides to release a video showing this attack. You know what I mean? This is why I killed Nugget. Nugget tried to bite my daughter's face off. Fuck Nugget. So I'm watching this video and I'm thinking the dog done, you know, snatched Ensley's face off and, you know, was running with her face around the house. Y'all, if y'all see this damn video that David done killed this damn dog over, go ahead and check this out. For the most part, I've enjoyed my time here in Savannah. Good girl, no. For the most part, I've enjoyed my time here in Savannah. Good girl, no. All right, you guys just saw the video, and from what I saw, Nugget did not bite Ensley. Nugget nipped at Ensley, and it looks like Ensley might have been, you know, pulling on the dog or doing something to the dog. And we all know dogs, you know, they have attitudes just like people. You poke at them enough, they might snip at you, you feel me? So it seems like that's what happened. And my thing is, how about you train your dog not to nip? How about you train your dog not to bite? How about you train your children to leave, you know what I'm saying, the damn dog alone unless they have respect for the dog and they're old enough to be around the dog? Ensley is still small. I think she's like not even two years old. So maybe she shouldn't be around the dog like that freely. Either way, okay, what that dog did, what I saw in that video, that that small nip, 
did not, you know what I'm saying, justify him killing that dog. And I'm not no animal lover. Y'all know that shit. I'm not making this video because I'm like, you know, Team Pete or anything like that. I'm not an animal lover. But right is right and wrong is wrong. And I'm not feeling this dude. Now, MTV is announcing today that they have basically axed him from Teen Mom. Um, you know, they're not going to allow him to be filmed. His name cannot be mentioned. You know, they they want it's like they want to keep Janelle and her mom on there because they do bring ratings because of all her drama. But I think at this point, MTV is going to need to make a solid decision to just get rid of Janelle and her mother altogether because there's something wrong with that man. And, and as much as Janelle has gotten on my nerves over the years, she has seemed to get herself on track a little bit better. She's no longer getting high. She's no longer taking drugs. You know, she did go and get her degree. She's been trying to get custody of Jace and everything else. But there's something wrong with David Eason. On top of that, I only knew about his daughter. His daughter seems to be with him and Janelle a lot of the times. Well, now they're saying that he's also having to go to court today, not only um, for the dog cruelty charges, but they're saying that if he does not come up with child support money, that he's like, he owes thousands and thousands of dollars in child support to another woman. He has a son as well. The child is five years old and he hasn't paid a dime. So they're basically telling him that he does not come up with the money. He will be going to jail. So this whole situation is just insane. He does not work. Okay. He's basically living off of Janelle. The mother has stated this on the show. Um, I think Janelle is so desperate for love. I mean, she has three kids by three different men. It didn't work out with Nathan. And now she's, you know, with this situation with David. I think if Janelle wants to remain safe and wants her children to remain safe, she needs to leave. I've watched that man disrespect the son that she has with Nathan, um, Kaiser, and call him a little bastard, yell at him. You know, just he, he, he doesn't show Kaiser the same love that he shows his daughter with Janelle. And I'm worried that if he can kill a dog that easily without batting an eyelash, a family dog who was there probably before he even got there, okay? Um, he could do something to Kaiser, being that he hates Nathan and that he has no genuine love for Kaiser. You can just tell how he treats the kid, okay? Kaiser! Kaiser! Kaiser's always crying to his dad about David spanking him, hitting him, leaving bruises. So I think at this point, Nathan needs to fight and take this video and use that as evidence to get his son out that house before something happens to his child, okay? Janelle, I have one advice for you, sis. In the words of Jordan Peele, get out. Get out. It is not worth it. There's something dark and very, you know, just demonic about this man. I'm not feeling his energy, his eyes, the way he talks to her. They're constantly arguing. But it's like because she has so many children by so many different men, and we watched her go from one relationship to another to another, she probably feels like she wants to keep this relationship and show people that she can be a wife, she can hold things down. But, sis, it's not worth your life, it's not worth your safety, and it's not worth the life of your children, period. You know, for him to go out there and just shoot that dog like that because of a nip, that's really disturbing. Because I really thought when he posted that video that the dog, you know, bit the child's face and everything else. And I'm not saying that, okay, even if the dog had bit the child's face, that does not mean that the dog needed a bullet to the head. How about you give the dog away? How about you, you know, give the dog away to a loving home, to people who can be patient and train the dog in a proper manner? You know, your first response shouldn't be violence. And the scary thing is he has no shame. How many times have the police, even the feds came to his house because he was posting all types of pictures of guns and, you know, ammunition and, you know, just posting a bunch of just crazy shit on his Instagram. So much so that Secret Service and the feds came to his house. And instead of him humbling himself and saying, damn, let me chill, he comes right back on Instagram and starts going off, showing all his ammunition, threatening people. Y'all can come over here. Y'all not getting my guns. This man has so many guns in that house, it's scary. So Instagram, since you're so fucking mad, send the fucking SBI to my house. I'm going to upload a lot more gun videos. And you know what? I got a gun on my hip. Fuck you, SBI. So since y'all are so concerned that I put hashtag Trump and hashtag Nancy Pelosi, why don't you go tell them bitches not to start banning guns? Then maybe people won't put hashtag their name. I guess y'all didn't know. I keep stockpiles of ammunition. Just enough to blow shit into pieces.
on any given day or situation. Also keep stockpiles and large capacity magazines of everything. I don't know what I, what I don't have a stockpile of ammunition for. So I've also got some poison dart frogs. I just rub these little jewels on their back. And uh, these ones too, these are a little different. I've also got some of these. And uh, shoot them right out of this here blow. Now, you secret service motherfuckers, you wouldn't have came down here if my gate was closed. And if you did, I would have started shooting at you because I wouldn't know who you was. Are right, you going to come back? I don't think so. And my biggest fear is that those small children might find a gun and end up shooting themselves or shooting, you know, somebody else. So I think Janelle needs to go. This, to me, is just the final straw. It's not okay what he did. And the fact that he has no remorse. He's still yelling at photogs when they're they're at the courthouse to ask him questions. So, can you stop talking to me? Get away from me. This dude is a ticking time bomb. And he's not built for reality television. He's not built for the judgments that people give him every week on that show. Hence why he was always online getting into it, people, calling them all types of F words. And, you know, I think one time he dropped some racial slurs, but don't quote me on that. But he has a lot of issues. And I think at this point, you know, instead of Janelle posting pictures with her dog and being sad and mournful, you need to leave, sis. You need to pack up and go. Go stay with your mom until you can figure shit out. But this dude is not wrapped too tight. So that is the end of my rant. Janelle, I wish you the best, but you got to get up out that situation, baby girl. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning Janelle Evans and David Eason. And they're both currently under investigation for animal cruelty. I'm sure Janelle will not be charged with anything, being that she really had nothing to do with the situation. But I think that David should be, you know, prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And then also the fact that he owes child support, he should be in jail for that shit too, because he has not paid in over five years. He hasn't paid a dime, you know. And I've seen people go to jail for literally being two, three months behind on child support. This man has not paid a dime in five years, and he's literally on a show, you know, reaping the rewards and, and, and going on trips and everything else. Meanwhile, he's not taking care of his son that I didn't know about until this morning. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.